months for about Thursday. I'm staying with my new theme of redoing old diaries and bringing them up to date. This one is a particularly long one for which I'm sorry, but it was a, our first holiday tour in Desmond in 2015. And this will be part one. Please remember to uh, watch the other videos in the playlist and enjoy Throwback Thursday. And why not consider rehashing some of your old video yourself and joining us once a month for Throwback Thursday. Before our next trip, which was our first holiday with Desmond, we installed LED lighting and a refillable gas system. We used LED lighting in our last caravans and found it a great way to reduce power usage. With every light on now, we use less power than using a single spotlight previously. Refillable gas bottles, in our case gas flow, mean that our gas is no longer a worry when we are in out of the way places, as may be the case with non-refillable exchange bottles if they don't have the one you need. On first fill, I only got them half full, but apparently this is normal. Diary 12th of June 2015 Today is day one of our first big adventure. Not far to travel today as we left after work. I picked Lindsay up and we headed for Grand Town on Spey. Here we had fish suppers beside the River Spey. We decided not to stop as the boy racers were there for a party and we moved on to Loch Garden. Thirteenth of June, twenty fifteen. Today started with mainly admin. We travelled up to Inverness to top off the shopping and essential supplies, a new bottle of whiskey. We also fueled up and headed down the west side of Loch Ness. We had lunch on the banks of the loch, but no pictures of Nessie. We then moved on to Loch Garry, where we stopped for the night and were joined by a flock of long-tailed tits. Fourteenth of June, twenty fifteen. Lindsay had us up at quarter past six. I'm going to have to uh, hide the clocks or teach her how to read it with bleary eyes. However, the early rise turned out to be well worth it, as we saw a pine martin wander past, just wandering down the road. After breakfast, we continued on to Eileen Don Castle for lunch. Lindsay toured the castle while I watched the birds in the bay. We knew the car park just past the castle had a tap, so we topped up the onboard tanks and drained the waste. We then drove on to Loch Aynort on Skye for the night. The birding highlight has to be the stone chats that lived in the bushes near our overnight spot. We left Loch Aynard for Broadford. We needed to visit the hospital so Lindsay could get stitches removed from her back from a minor op before we left the house. We also wanted to top off the LPG before heading north. We planned to overnight stop at Loch Torridon. However, both planned places were occupied, so we moved on. 
We passed half a dozen or more unicycles on the Torridon to Kinlochy Road. Birdwork watching highlights today included a bullfinch and golden eagle. The LPG was cheap and less than £9 to pull our system up. We eventually stopped at the Forestry Commission picnic site at Slatterdale. A lovely spot. Sixteenth of June, twenty fifteen. After breakfast, we headed up to Pool U for the market. I can recommend the different beds and cream scones from here. I also picked up a monocular, handy for the pocket when walking. We stopped at Mel and Charles for lunch at the perfume shop and cafe. We then headed for our planned overnight stop at Lale Forest. We stopped along the way to take in the views. We spotted a merlin, a juvenile eagle, as well as hearing a cuckoo. We topped up with diesel at Gairlock. Desmond is averaging 27 mile per gallon and I definitely ate too much today. Wildlife Pine Martin Red Deer Otter Birds There were well over 60 species of birds spotted on this trip. They are listed below, but I won't read them. Far too many. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.